Hi, I'm Ron Quint with Carrie Shea, and we're here for another segment of Wine Inside, Out and About. Today, TJ and Michael are going to show us how to shop for wine. For Wine Inside Out TV, I'm Michael Marr, Chairman of the Boston Sommelier Society. So here's the situation we're faced with every day when we're buying wine. We walk into a wine shop. There's 850 bottles sitting on the wall staring at us. And we're trying to find that one bottle, that one special bottle that's going to be perfect for our occasion, a gift, whatever it is. So do we grab a bottle, just hoping that it's going to be right? Or do we take advantage of one of the most underutilized and important resources in that shop? And that's the person who works there, the owner, the wine shop manager, someone who's passionate about wine. So we're here at the Urban Grape today with TJ Douglas. TJ, thanks so much for having us. Thanks for coming in, Michael. Your shop is unique. I've never seen anything like this before, in that there's no grape varietal. There's no country on the wall. I walk in, I don't know what I'm looking at. Can you kind of explain what it is that makes your shop special? So this is a question that everyone asks when they come in. When you go into any wine shop around the world, it's going to be either set up by a grape varietal. So think about like it's a Pinot Grigio section, Absolutely. or a Chardonnay section, Something or a Cabernet we're section. Familiar with. Exactly. Or it's going to be set up by a geographical region. So you'll have a Tuscany section mm -hmm. or a California section. Uh, that's deceiving and really unfair to consumers mm -hmm. because if you have a section that's labeled Chardonnay, in the consumer's minds, all Chardonnay should taste the same, exactly. Or that all wines from Tuscany taste exactly the same. Uh, the way that we have the store set up is by the body of the wine. What that means is that uh, we taste every single wine and we guess its weight uh, based on the mouthfeel of the wine and how heavy the liquid actually feels. Okay. Uh, the better way to understand that, that most people can, uh, can kind of get into it, is something that everyone knows about, and that's milk. Uh, if you think about skim milk, very light, very watery, you take a sip, it absolutely disappears. Okay, That would be a one on the urban grape scale of one to ten. All right. A five would be more like whole milk. So take a sip, sticks around a little bit more, coats your palate a little bit more. So that would be a five. Uh, and a ten on the urban grape scale would be more like a half and half or heavy cream. Something that's, that's so big and so round uh, that you would need a really large meal to balance that weight off. Uh, the reason I did this uh, is because I worked in the restaurant business for a very long time and most of the time in the world when people drink wine, they're trying to pair it up with food. Uh, a lot of people do things by pairing it up with flavors, which don't always work, but I really believe that the weight of the wine, you pair a light wine with a light dish, you have that balance. The wine won't overpower the food and the food won't overpower the wine. Excellent. So it's, it's, it's totally texturally driven. So you can see wines right next to each other. You can see a Chardonnay or something like a Trebbiano. I'm looking right at your shelf right yep. now. You would never think of Chardonnay and Trebbiano being similar in flavor, but the way you set it up is similar in weight. With a Chardonnay, say we have the classic California Chardonnay that everyone's familiar with. Some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, that oak, that butter, that round, that cream. That way that that wine is manipulated, we have that Trebbiano mm -hmm. that you mentioned from Abruzzi on the Adriatic coast of Italy, mm -hmm. is manipulated in the same style. So if so you it, like that Chardonnay, sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's, it's, so it sees some new oak. So it sees, uh, it's a Trebbiano that you would not normally associate with traditional Trebbiano, for lack of a better Correct. term. And normally people would think Trebbiano would be lighter bodied, but if you put it on the shelf next to every other Trebbiano out there, and you happen to grab that bottle expecting a light wine, you're going to be disappointed. You're, because it's not for your palate. 